Good morning and welcome back to another day in the life vlog. I look so rough, I've literally just woken up. I've stuck my gym gear on, I'm gonna go and do some sort of workout and then I'm gonna have a shower, get ready for the day. We have a list of things we want to try and get done today. We have had quite a few lazy days the last few days. We didn't even get up till like midday yesterday. So it's been really nice. Not every day is productive and we don't have all the motivation all the time. But um, today is gonna be one of those days where we are gonna try and get a lot done on our list. So then just already straight away started. You're not, no holding you back today. If I didn't start now, I wouldn't get going, so. You just, we just thought you'd start straight away and then we'll have some breakfast together if you want. So, first of all, the bath panel. The fixings for this. Yes. Don't you... actually work. Okay. I'm kind of having to make it up as I go along. And so I'm just going to back in some screws and... Okay, As fine. long as I can push it against it, it should be alright. Yeah, and then you're going to be working on the shelves for this cupboard. Yeah, um, can you wash this floor at some point? Yeah, I can wash the floor today. We've stripped the bed as well to do a bed wash. And yeah, it should be a fairly good day. So Benj and I did a run the other day, but I didn't love running outside. I really do miss the treadmill. I much prefer running on a treadmill and I miss going for my aqua classes. I've done a bit of yoga, but I miss actually doing it in a room. I feel like I get way too distracted. I don't love working out at home. We've been doing quite a few long walks. So we go for like 40, 50 minute walk, which has been nice. But I've basically been trying to find what works for me. So I've been trying all sorts of different things because I do want to do some exercise obviously and move my body, but I think I don't know what I like doing. So. I'm gonna do Joe Wick's PE workout this morning, the ones that he's been doing. I mean, I'm obviously not doing them in real time, but I'm gonna go back. So I'm gonna do this in my AirPods and do it here while I've got a bit of space. I don't know if I'm gonna be any good at this. I'm absolutely exhausted. If you saw our Disney day at home, this is our puzzle progress. Normally we would do the edges first, but it's almost impossible to do the edges because they're all the same color pretty much. So you have to work on pieces of the puzzle before you do the outside. But I think it's gonna be quite big, but we've been enjoying picking it up when we have some time. So here we go. I've got some coloring books. Yes, Benji bought me this one because originally I had this one and it's a Disney Thomas Kincaid one. And honestly, I know this is gonna sound stupid, but it's too complicated. Like there's just too much going on. And I like coloring just for, you know, taking my mind off things, not to create a piece of art. So Benji bought me this one from the supermarket, which is obviously for children, but it's just been quite nice just to <laughs> color it in. And then I also got this one on Amazon that says, live your dreams. Um, a girl called Jade Summer, I just found it on Amazon. Thought it was quite nice to have some quotes. Um, so I've got those as my colouring. Wow, I look really rough, but I am going to have a shower once Benji's out of the bathroom. He's just doing the uh, cupboard. But I've just had a parcel and this company I've followed on Instagram for ages. They sell Disney t-shirts and they reached out and asked if I would like one. And there's a sticker on the front that says, Dear Posty, thank you for working hard so we can stay safe and still send happy posts. You are our heroes. So I thought that was really sweet. I don't know how to pronounce their name. I think it might be, is it Teak? It's spelled T-E-E-Q. Um, so I have no idea what they've sent. So thank you so much guys for this gift. Ooh, it's a grey jumper, is it? Oh, that's so lovely. Look at that. It's a rainbow with Mickey's in it, embroidered. Oh, they sent me a nice big one too. I told them I was a size 16 or like an extra large and actually that's a very generous size. It's nice and baggy. Oh, thank you so much. This is gorgeous. I will leave them linked below. Oh, there's a card. Oh, there's all sorts of bits in there. Oh, it says be a rainbow in a storm. And they've also sent some stickers. What a lovely thing to send at a time like now. Oh, there's a little card too. Hey, Brogan, hope this brings a little happiness to your day. Hope you're well, Alice. Thank you very, very, very much. I will link them, like I said. It's nothing too proud of, it's just... More flooring in the bottom. More floor. That's good. It was all just open floorboards, so I put some more ply down. Do you not need to cut that bit at the back? Yeah, I'll check it up. I wasn't sure. 
That's all right. It's better uh, to decide. I'll, I'll pop some silicon down here on the join. Yeah. And down the edge. All right. Um, so and then you're just going to do some shelves in there. Yeah. At some point, I've got to decide what kind of material I want to. Because obviously the pipes come out. Yeah. There. Looks good. What's your next task? Sleep. Sleep. You've done the done um, this. So yeah. Oh, good. It doesn't fall in and out anymore. Yeah, I still wouldn't do what I just did and kick it, but yeah. <laughs> do you want to know the ingenious way how I fixed it? It's incredible. You never get smart at that. You screwed it in from the side. Pumped one screw in. <laughs> well, there's a will, there's a way. I put a wash on for the bedding, so we need to get that done today. This needs to get done. Yeah. This is clean. I have this blank wall here next to my desk, and my mum has her own business where she sells projectors, whiteboards, screens and all sorts of things and she sells a product it's like a glass writing board she does like cork boards and any kind of like presentation equipment basically and one thing that she said she wanted to get me for the new house so it's kind of like a home gift birthday gift gift because she's amazing for the office is like a really lovely glass writing board so I can write notes you and can plan your videos and things like that can't you yeah but like when we get like um wedding invites and tickets to things and uh, I don't know just thought of make it really nice I've got like some... when you're at your desk and you're on the phone somewhere you suddenly get an idea you can just spit and write it down you don't have to fund around for yeah. paper or notes or yeah so I'm really looking forward to having it up so thank you mum very very much I'm really <laughs> grateful so Ben's just going to put it up today which is so exciting it's yeah, it's on this really wall. You haven't seen it. <laughs> so exciting. It is for me. It is for me. Plastering that wall. It should be fun. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's given me this cork uh, starter kit, and this is a rubber, I think. A razor. How cool is that? It's so neat. Magnets. Don't know what's in there yet. Probably pens, maybe. And also, she's given me extra magnets and this little pot. I'm so excited about this. I love stuff like this. There were loads of different colours to pick from. Went for this baby pink kind of colour. I don't know what the official colour is. I can't remember, but I love it. It's going to look really lovely. Handy boyfriend. But and everything on the wall for me. Like it. And the colour looks really nice with the little pops of pink I've got on the shelf. Yeah, it adds a bit of colour, doesn't it? Yeah, that wall definitely needed it, but it feels like an office now, like I can write notes and stuff. But I thought the pens would have to go in the pen pot, but actually they magnet themselves as well. No, no, I just chucked that pot in just in case you wanted to use it. You can put a fake plant in it. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I want to put loads of stuff. I want to get all creative now. I just found a couple of pictures and things, but... I've got spare magnets as well, and then I've got these ones you gave me, but yeah, I love it. I have some wedding save the dates down here, so I'm gonna start here and go round. The pens are magnetic, which is great. It's four different colors, and I've got these cork magnets, which are lovely. And then I've got some photos, photo booth ones. That's my friend Bianca, me and Benj. Some other magnets, spare ones, my family and I, which is one of my favorite photos of the four of us. A thank you card from my friend Catherine at Catnip. I've got about 10 of these different ones and I just like this one. It says, make every day a good day. I do actually have that other print as well, the rainbow one that I was just obviously sent, but I'm not sure what I want on here yet. I've got some lanyards from Summer in the City, Social in the City, love them. And then my brother and I in this corner, this one's the cutest photo of us, look at it. When we're in our um, Tink and Buzz outfits. <laughs> oh, we love dressing up. We always had Disney dressing up outfits and then that was a couple of years ago when he took me to Brighton. Just before I met Benj, we did like a little spontaneous weekend away and went to Brighton, it was so fun. But yeah, that's how it's currently looking, I love it. I think it looks really nice. Next job of the day is to try and strip this off and then repaint it. It's always important to stay safe when you're working. So it's important you wear the right PPE to protect yourself at all times. Yeah. Um, Socks and, and sandals. Oh, we've got to stay hydrated.
I'm in my new jumper. I love it. It is quite big. I probably could have gone for a large, but at this sort of time where you just want to be cozy, comfortable, I'd rather it be oversized, but I'm just doing my hair and I bought a diffuser to go on the end of my hair dryer just because around this sort of time of year, spring going into summer, I love my hair naturally curly. I actually do like my curls, um, but the only thing is, is that they work best when they've air dried outside or they've got like some sort of sea salt when I go on holiday, that like crunchiness. Like, I don't know, they just look so much better when I'm outside and in the like fresh air. When I'm at home and it air dries in a towel and then just around the house, it just looks really frizzy and flat at home. So I thought I'd try diffusing my hair. Now I get so many comments every week saying, why don't you try the curly girl method? And I've looked into it and I do do some of the tips like I have my hair in a like soft cotton, like curly approved towel. Like it's kind of like, it feels like a t-shirt basically. I also look for shampoos that don't have, I think it's silicones. Um, however, my biggest problem is that I actually have an allergy to some fragrances and a lot of shampoos make my head and scalp really itch and I spent years and a lot of money and time going through like so many different shampoo types and products and I found a brand that works for me and I've been using them for years. I then feel a bit like I don't want to go through all of that effort and stress again to try and find I don't even know if my OGX shampoo is curly girl approved but it doesn't really matter anyway because it works for me. And then the other thing that is a bit of a problem is that I love my hair straight and I love curling it and I love styling it and like if I'm going to an event um, and I've got you know my full makeup or I'm wearing a really nice dress I want my hair to be blow dried I like having the choices so with the curly girl method one of the big rules is that you're not allowed to put any heat on it um, or you're not allowed to put curlers and blow dry it like diffusing's a bit different but um, yeah I've been trying to teach myself like this diffusing method but in all honesty like it's worked okay on this side i think it's a bit heavier this side where i've got a fringe i do really love the cantu spray which i know it's not necessarily for my hair type but this is really nice just coconut oil um so i put a little tiny bit of this in like a little goes a really long way i've also got this sebastian dark oil that my hairdresser recommended for me but also another thing is i think i need to get a haircut that is tailored for curly hair. Like I want someone who niches and specializes in curls that can cut it so that it's lighter on the top here. So I've got like lighter layers. Basically that's the answer to curly girl method that I keep getting asked about. I'll let this dry a little bit more. I probably should stop touching it. And then I will probably just find a little bobby pin. And it's why I love having a hairband, like a hair bow a lot of the time because I just, Oh, that's the oven beeping. Oh, good. I've been cooking a jacket potato for the last hour for us. So let's go and see how it looks. 20 more minutes and then we will have jackets for lunch. What is next on my to-do list? Lots of stuff. So this week has proven to me that my pyjama drawer needs sorting out. I mean, this is not even a pyjama top. Um, so I'm going to pull all of my pyjamas out and decide what's staying and what's going. Oh, there's my grey tracky bottoms. These are like 10 years old. I'm not kidding you. Abercrombie and Fitch. <laughs> Ideally, I need to try everything on. Yeah, I've got a lot going on here. This is ridiculous. I know this one doesn't fit anymore. These are the ones I'm parting with. I just need to try these on though because I love these a lot and I do love these but I don't know I think they've had their time with me now to be honest. A lot of them are Disney, Kath Kidston, Disney Primark. 
they're just not like I've got a lot of strappy ones like I loved these from Primark but actually in reality they're just a little bit small now this is how this is looking now a lot better so these are all long pajamas long sleeves soft really thick wintry ones at the back t-shirts shorts I have a play suit that I wear as well and that's that I'm keeping but they're my kind of 90s I really would like some new pyjamas to be honest, I know it looks like I've got a lot but I would like some short ones. These are actually boxers, men's boxers <laughs> um, from Walt Disney World and they are honestly some of the best pair of pyjama uh, shorts I have. They're so 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 comfortable so yeah I got those in like an extra large, I love them. But um, anyway that's how that is looking, much better. Look at potatoes, look at those. I do like cheese and beans or tuna. And mayo and cheese so i think i'm gonna have tuna um today so i'm gonna go and get bench so we can have a jacket with me <laughs> Just thought I'd show you, Benji's just done a quick food shop, not really a full week shop. We just started a list and he went and popped out and got it. So we do need to get some other things, but just sort of show you the kind of things we like to have. Don't really normally do a food shop haul, but here we go. Um, so some bites, we love them, have worked with them before. Uh, we normally get the red and the green, but they didn't have them. So we've got the honey glaze. These ones are lush, but I've never tried these. Yeah, Tomato and mozzarella. mozzarella. So we've got bagels because we love them and croissants, a pizza tray. Pepsi Max is life. You've got a Aid. Um, bananas, we've gone through quite a lot of these this week. So we're loving bananas at the moment. And melon, love melon. Um, mushrooms, tomatoes, peppers, onions. We talked about these on Instagram the other day and I put it in my March favorites video, so you might have seen that, but these are our favorite pizzas right now. They're great like dinner, because the weather's gonna get nice. You got some twisters, I love these. The pink ones are so good. Um, barbecue chicken we love with nachos. Just such an easy, like quick lunch yeah. for us. Or these with bagels, meatballs, some chips, because we've got some um, uh, fish in the freezer, some sauces. Orange juice, potatoes, our favourite rice, which is the Tilda one that you put in the microwave for two minutes. I'm going to make some... You've got to do chicken curry tonight. Chicken curry tonight. Yeah, which we already have ready. And then some Pringles, because we fancied them the other day. So there's a little haul that will keep us going for a while, actually, I think. Yeah. Right, it's now quarter to four, and I have a little bit of work to do. I have two invoices that I need to prepare. One email that I've been doing with my accountant to get my end of year... 2019 to 2020 accounts finished i also had a campaign that was pushed to may and they'd like some of the messaging to change on my stories and in my captions so i need to do that and we have a video going up at four so 15 minutes so i'm quickly gonna make a this might sound a bit weird but i'm gonna make a trailer not a trailer like a highlight of the sorry that's benji outside making that noise disney trailer um, of all the funny bits from our video to put up on stories and social media so that people can get a little glimpse into what to expect from the video um but yeah i just can't believe it's wednesday like the days just all keep merging okay so the video has gone up i'm wondering where my airpods are i think they might be downstairs um and i'm gonna bring the hoover up and the bedding that's done and we're gonna tidy up up here because the bedroom and the bathroom need cleaning so I'm gonna do that next. It is half past four, and hopefully you're all into with the Disney video. I'm just waiting for more people to watch it. Um, but yeah, it was so much fun. Let's check on this one. Let's see how he's doing. How are you doing? Dad was saying that I don't actually have to get all of it off. It's just the loose bits that I've got to get off. Right, okay. I've kind of overdone it in a lot of places. You didn't need to go that hard, basically, because you can much. just put really thick paint on. Um, You've done well, though. It looks good. Yeah. Well done, and it's nice and sunny out here. I've had to get dressed again. I'm in my jumpsuit because it's just too warm. I have a feeling. Don't tell me the heating is on. 
Oh no, it's okay, it's off. Oh, I was gonna say, there's no way we need heating on today. Anyway, I'm gonna tidy, so I'll show you what I've brought up with me. I do actually have a new mop that I'm gonna try, but I have this one that I've brought up with me, which you pop one of these on the bottom, the flash mops. The little Dyson, a duster, a glass cleaner, window cleaner, and then I also have one of these, which I'm gonna try with you. But first, the floor needs hoovering, and I need to go and get a wash basket for that. But yeah, the bed looks like this right now because we have stripped it and we're washing the bedding, so I need to do that as well. Okay, I really don't recommend this flash mop because it's not great. <laughs> it's just very, ugh, it just doesn't glide how I want it to. I don't know how to describe it, but it's quite good for this floor, so I might leave it up here just so I can do this bathroom floor. I'll leave it in this cupboard when it's ready. A few of you notice we have Matey, and Benji's mum buys me the mermaid one and Benji the pirate one at Christmas. So we have one each, and it's just bubble bath basically, but it's just a bit of fun. She does a stocking for us, and that's one of the things that she puts in there, which is really sweet. So that's why I have that. I wouldn't normally like buy it for myself, just FYI. <laughs> Look at my Hoover lines. Oh, yes. <laughs> Satisfying. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so Benji's watching the trailer I just made. <laughs> and I'm going to unbox my brand new cleaning device, window cleaner thing. I got this on Amazon a while ago, I just haven't unboxed it. All the packaging. Oh, I think I might have to charge it up before I use it. So I didn't clean these windows that long ago, so this is not a totally fair review on this window. Plus, there's some bird poo on the other side, so I'm gonna take it all downstairs to get sort of any of the lines. Look how much, uh, you can't tell on camera, but look how different that looks compared to that one. I know there's bird poo on the outside, but yeah. Okay, so I've just done the glass in the bathroom as well, and I've got this cloth, which is a minky glass cloth. And this is really nice as well, but I like the new device, machine. Gets rid of all the streaks I had a problem with, so I'm gonna put it on charge now, but I like this. Yeah, this is a win. I am so tired and I don't even know what I've done today, but I do need to sort out this bedding. I think, do you know what, I'm, I'm gonna do that. No, later. I'm gonna regret it though, aren't I? No, do you know what, I'll do it now. If I don't do it now, I'll regret it. My lovely friend Victoria did a live stream the other day and I started watching it. I am 28 minutes in and it's an hour and 40 minutes long, so I get this going. Flame free barbecue, I think. Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at now? Where you at? Okay, so the duvet is in the tumble dryer still, so hopefully, it's a bit of fluff, that'll be done in the next 20 minutes. I can put that on. I'm having weird like highs and lows at the moment. I think everyone is, but like some days I feel really good and then other days I miss things a lot. I keep thinking about things I'm looking forward to doing. I'm trying to have a positive mindset, you know, but I think some days are just better than others. Some days are easier than others. And I am really enjoying not having to film every single day. So thank you so much for being really supportive about these new daily vlogs. No, they're not daily. That's why I'm not calling them daily. Day in the life, because they're not daily. Daily would be literally every single day. Obviously both a weekly versus a day in the life have pros and cons, but I am pleased you're enjoying these. I've just spotted, I've got a spare one of these little fake plants from Ikea. I've got the other two up there. They came in a set of three. So I'm gonna see what this looks like in my new, what's it called? <laughs> What's it called? I'm on my new shelf glass board. Here we go. Okay, so it doesn't quite fit perfectly, but it's quite cute. Maybe I can take it out of the plastic, maybe I don't know. Oh well. I'm going to turn the volume off. I thought I would do a quick tour with my island because I haven't played Animal Crossing yet today. Okay, so the thing is I'm not overly happy about anything on my island, which is why I haven't shown you until now. But I am playing in real time, so I haven't time travelled at all. I've never played the game before, so I'm still learning new things every day. This is my current setup. So I have a pool at the back, some gardening stuff, a bike and a bin. 
a swinging bench thing, a water fountain. I've got I've got some mail. I need to sort that out. Let's have a look what's in here. Oh, I bought some new stuff yesterday. Yeah, I had a little shop on the... Um, oh, my pockets are too full. Okay, fine. I'll come back for those. Oh, there's the bell thing. Oh, see, this is going to be difficult because I'm just going to want to do stuff. I just don't want to forget that that's there. Oh, my pockets are full, though. It's fine. Okay, I'll come back. <laughs> right, so um, I've got a bridge here. There is absolutely nothing over this side. Um, actually, in fact, let me just show you what my map looks like. So this is my island. So that is where... Oh, gosh, hang on. That's where I live, me. And that's where the bridge is. And then all the stuff is here. I've got three houses at the bottom near the airport. And then I have a bunch of houses over here. Um, I haven't got the tool yet, so I can start doing paths and stuff. But, oh, I need to get that. Good, there's a lot for me to do today because I haven't started yet today. One of my islanders has just moved out, which is one that I didn't like, to be honest. So I was quite happy about that. Bye-bye. So I should get a new islander, which is why that one's empty. But, um, yeah, three houses here. Loads of random flowers everywhere. My museum is here. Now, I didn't know what, like, where to put things. And I'm not, to be honest, I'm not happy with, like, the layout. Oh, wow, this guy's new. Hello. So, obviously, this is where my town hall thing is. I've changed the flag to a little star. I've got the shop next to it. So, obviously, look, my house is just back there. So, everything's quite close, which is quite handy when I'm running around here. And then this this shop is here. So I, I'm in and out of this shop and the museum quite a lot. Here's one of my islanders. This is one of my favourites. This is Bangle. Over here I have another bridge. And, oh, look. Let's get those bells. Do I have to put them in my pockets or do they go straight in? Oh, yeah, no, they go straight in. Okay. I need to go in, in the shop and sell some stuff that I got last night. But, yeah, I have one house here. Another one here. And another one here. And then, obviously, you've got the beach and whatever. Oh, look, I need to pick that up. And then the only other thing to show you, really is I started building a campsite obviously this is just a bit weird at the moment but I've got a bit of a mixture of stuff going on I have balloons and lanterns and I've made a little picnic area in here um some picnic bits down here I don't know I have built one ramp so I don't have to do the ladder all the time and I haven't got anything up here yet and then I do have a couple of houses oh there's a balloon there I don't want it, it's fine. I've got one house here. This is my new neighbour, Willow, that's just moved in. Here's my new neighbour. I'm sorry, I was in Grifton the bar. Okay, always go in the houses because they might give you things. Oh, I've just remembered that my pockets are too full. That's so annoying. Can I eat anything? Let's eat this egg, actually. And then that will free up my thing. Here you go, give me that now. Thank you. Also, I don't have a capture card, so I can't, like, record my screen. But let me know if you'd like me to do that. I have the prettiest love heart-shaped um, little pond lake thing here. And then this is another house that I have just started recently building. So, yeah, that is what my island looks like. Obviously, I clearly have a lot to do with all this fruit and bugs. Let me know if you'd like me to do a whole video where I play and commentate and whatever. I need to buy a capture card if I'm going to do it seriously. Right, it's now 10 past 7 and do you know I... what time it is? It's time for you to do cooking with Benji. And why is it time for you cooking with Benji? Because you cook every night. Because you've got to give the people what they want. Tonight we are having a curry. Yes. Chicken curry. Yes. With vegetables. I was about to tell you what vegetables I was going to put in it, but we might as well just copy and paste every clip from anything that I've ever made because it's going to be a pepper, an onion and some mushrooms. Okay, this week's musical accompaniment is another completely random one that I listen to. There are a couple of guys that play guitars but play like club tunes on acoustic guitars and they're incredible. So that is the theme song to today's whatever the hell this is. So I know a lot of co cooking people, I think human beings call them chefs, like a glass of wine, a nice fancy bottle from like 50, 60 years ago. But tonight's a compliment is a Strongbow Dark Fruits. I read once that the difference between sexes in a pepper is how many sections it's got, segments it's got. So this one's got one, two, three, four sections. Determines its sex. Females have four and males have three or vice versa. In a pepper? Yeah, honestly, I read it once. So if, sure? I, if anybody knows whether that's true slash which way around it is, okay, Brogan's gonna Google it, updates to come. Right, so Brogan has absolutely rained on my parade. 
Go on then. So, so go on. Although the myth of bell peppers are either male or female continues to spread, bell peppers do not have genders. Right. I wish you could see his face right now. He's so. He's disappointed. I haven't filmed anything. We've been chatting to Gary, haven't we, bub? Yeah, Gary called, so. Gary called, so had a chat with him. It's the one that I made from scratch. Oh yeah, but obviously. The, there's, there's from scratch one. No, it's, it's, um, what is it, butter Tes chicken? Tesco, it's butter, ch butter chicken. This one, it's like 75p, 95p, it's really nice. Yeah, I just put in, like, two, like, two cloves of garlic, one red pepper, half a planet of mushrooms, onion, two chicken breasts. We use this tilde rice, it's perfect. Dinner was delicious. All eaten up. Thank you, Benj. Wow. And now we are watching. Right, well, we caved in. We're watching Tiger King. We didn't want to watch it. We didn't think it'd be our thing. And then we got into it, didn't we? Um, I'm going to go Noddy tonight. <laughs> I'm going to go Noddy instead of. <laughs> these are like 23, 24 years. These are probably 24 years old. That one is. These ones we bought a few years ago because they're quite good little plastic bowls for. Chocolate. No, I had these ones as a kid. You had those ones. These ones are new though. We're on episode six of Tiger King and Benji's dad dropped off at our doorstep a few days ago Easter eggs, which was really sweet yeah, of him. So, so yeah, really out of blue, just like really lovely, generous little eggs. So um, we're going to eat this. I didn't put my pajamas on. I think I might just quickly go and do it. I might need you to unzip me. So we finished Tiger King finally. No one told me it'd be like... 40 minute long episodes and there were seven of them it was long wasn't it really it was a it was a thing it was interesting i know everyone's talking about it it's kind of boring so we're going to move on but i hated it you didn't like it did you i didn't love it that much i was just very intrigued by the story just the whole thing was just so wrong it's very i was saying to bench the style of the show is quite similar to making a murderer if you liked that benji never saw making a murderer I started um, it, but I just keep it into it. I think we should retry it because that was good. No, right. We've had such a lovely day and I'm really tired. <laughs> um, we've got loads of stuff to carry on with tomorrow. Uh, I still need to clean my makeup brushes. That was not done today. I didn't show an update of my um, wall, did I? You didn't show an updated wall? No, you didn't finish the wall, so I have to work on that. Well, I finished it. I just got to paint it now. Oh, it's ready for painting now? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Did loads, did the bath, did the uh, bathroom cupboard. Oh, I wanted to order a frame for that print we've got. So that is all from us. Thank you so much for watching this day in the live vlog. Hope you're loving them as much as we're enjoying actually filming them as well. Um, but uh, yeah, have a great rest of the week. Thank you so much for watching. See you very soon. Bye. Where you at now? Where you at now?